Okay, we're gonna cut some bushes. Brand new chainsaw. It's got a uh, electric battery. And uh, our first mission is this beautiful tree right here. We're gonna clean all of this out. So we'll be back. Okay, the little power saw, chainsaw worked really well. You'll see that I did a lot of this yesterday and uh, we're gonna knock the rest out today. We're gonna get all that stuff out of the top up there. That's why we have an extension pole on this saw. So we'll be back. Oh, also I bought a brush chipper, which will be here tomorrow. And uh, we'll be able to chip all this wood up instead of having it hauled away. Probably gonna use it for mulch. We'll be back. Okay, I just wanna show you the back of this tree as well. We're gonna clean this all up too. When we get done, it'll be all cleared out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim the back of this one as well. And uh, there we have it. We'll be back. Okay, we got the wood chipper. And uh, you'll see that that's the engine and the chipper. Got the wheels over here. We got part of the chute here. Another part of the chute. And that one right there. And uh, now the fun part is putting this thing together and getting it running. We'll be back. Okay, here we are. We have the brush chipper all put together and running. We're gonna try it out here in a second. And all this brush. We'll be back. Okay, we're moving right along here. You see, I pretty much got this whole area cleared out in front of this tree. We're still gonna get all of this stuff up here. That's gotta come out. Gotta cut all that stuff up. And you'll notice this pile over here. This is uh, all ready to go. You actually have to trim the side of those branches because you only have three inches on that chute. So we're gonna grind these up right now. We'll be back. Thanks. Okay, let's see what this brush chipper does. Okay, we're back, and you're gonna notice we cleared a lot of the stuff up already, and I got this next pile over here all cut up, ready to go into the chipper. So we'll be uh, we'll be back in a minute. And by the way, I just want to show you that the last batch. Here's the chips that we got, and you'll notice that big stump right there. My little chainsaw, the electric chainsaw, actually cut that right in half. It's unbelievable. Anyway. 
that's all cleared out in the back. I just got to pull the branches out. At least we can see through the neighborhood now. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. And as you'll notice, around the tree is pretty cleaned up. The only brush I got to chip is right here. And I still got to clean out that tree. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. You'll notice that we're in the back of the trees now. I cleared out a lot of this. There's still some more left to go. But uh, you know, I still have to get those few branches up there. But you're gonna see all the brush that I pulled out from behind these trees. It's ridiculous. We're gonna probably chop them up tomorrow. But just to give you an idea on all the dead brush that was back there, all up in these trees. We got some big logs over here. I'm probably going to cut them up. Might use them for firewood. I'm not sure. But I uh, just want to give you a shot of this brush. Unbelievable. I ordered an eagle. We're going to get another eagle over here. So we'll be back. Okay, here we are at the end of the day today. I cleaned up all this brush, most of it anyway. Still got a little bit over there. I'm going to do tomorrow. But you'll see the big mound of uh, mulch that we have. We're going to spread that all around the trees. So that should be nice. And you'll notice that this tree right here, I got rid of all the dead limbs on both of them, actually. And uh, there you have it. We'll be back tomorrow to take care of the rest of that brush. Okay, we're all done with the uh, brush chipping. As you'll notice, the yard is all nice and clean again. And you'll notice all this dead grass or dead area right here. This is uh, the area that that big bush, the dead bush covered. So you'll see in the back over there too. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use all this mulch. In fact, I got, uh, I just ordered a gallon of mulch dye so we can dye that mulch red. Once you lay it down, you spray the uh, dye right on top and you've got brand new red mulch. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And these uh, big logs over here, they're too big for the chipper, but I think it did a pretty good job. Looks a whole lot better. These trees look beautiful again. And uh, we'll be back the next step. Okay, we're back. You'll notice everything's cleaned up. All I gotta do is take a few weeds out over here, but we're ready to start laying the mulch. And then uh, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and dye it. But I think we have plenty of mulch to get the job done, and we'll find out soon. We'll be back. And we're back. All the mulch is done. Looks pretty good. All the way around. We're gonna refinish that stump, by the way. I'm gonna stain it. I'm gonna pressure wash it first, and then we're gonna seal it and stain it. So all we have to do now is uh, dye this mulch, and we'll have red mulch. So what a difference, though, right? This is what it used to look like, pretty much. Now it's looking a lot different. There you have it. We'll be back when we dye it. Okay, I started dyeing the mulch today. You'll see my backpack uh, sprayer, pump up sprayer, and then you'll see the color back. This is the actual dye that we use to do the uh, red mulch. And uh, let's go out here. And you'll see that I started spraying that red mulch, the red dye on the mulch pretty good but I think that I'm gonna put two coats on it and uh, we'll be back when we're done okay so the mulch is done you're gonna see that I did have to put two coats on it what a beautiful job right and that uh, little uh, stump right there we're gonna put the eagle on top of that but first we're gonna refinish that stump just want to give everybody a nice little shot of this mulch job 
Sure looks a lot better than it did when I started this project. And here you go. Nice thing about the mulch, the dye, is that once this fades, all I have to do is spray it over again. No more running to Home Depot and spending money on mulch. And there you have it. Our next mission is that monstrosity over there. We'll be back, though, with the eagle. Talk to you soon. Okay, so here we are. We're going to refurbish this tree stump. I already pressure washed it. And basically what we're going to use is some uh, stain with polyurethane built in. And then I'm also going to put a clear coat of gloss urethane on top of it. So that's how it looks now. We'll be back with the uh, finished product. Okay, we're back. As you'll notice, I stained the uh, tree stump. And I also put concrete on top of that stump. And I embedded the eagle into the concrete. So this is what it looks like. pretty good then what I'm gonna do once that concrete is dry I'm going to uh, paint the concrete a brown color and then I'm also going to put polyurethane on the uh, tree stump and also a plastic coating on that eagle which uh, will prevent it from rusting so we'll be back when we're done Okay, we're back. Everything's done. As a matter of fact, you'll notice I also trimmed up those uh, limbs right there, those old trees, and painted them brown. But here's the eagle, and you'll notice that I painted the concrete brown, and she's ready to rock and roll. All we're doing now is waiting for the uh, polyurethane to show up, and I'm going to go ahead and coat the uh, stump concrete and also the eagle so we'll be back when that's finished thanks okay this project is finally completed got the polyurethane on that uh, wood stump over there I actually did a uh, another coat of the mulch stain so we're all done with this project the next mission is this big bush I can't wait to get started on this. We're gonna shorten that up and we're gonna trim it back. And we'll be back. Let's get a nice shot of that eagle again. There you have it. You'll be there when I'm dead and gone. See you later, bye.